Of course, the one day I picked to film, it's 33 degrees and 16 mile an hour winds. It's cold. Hey guys, we're here today to go on an adventure. And not just any adventure, we're going to North Conway and we're taking my parents' minivan. But this isn't just any minivan. This is a 2010 Chrysler Town & Country with a V6. Ooh! It makes no difference though. It'll kick down a gear and scream that it doesn't want to do it. It doesn't scream with power. It's very disappointing. We have this car for the day. Taking it to uh, North Conway with my wife. Say hello, wife. Hello. For those who don't know, North Conway is in New Hampshire. Oh, we got a fire truck coming. Oh, Pro tip, always pull over on the side of the road for yes. vehicles. That is, if you can, because these brakes are mush. They're not good whatsoever. The acceleration is not good. Everything is just slow and unresponsive. And it just doesn't want to do anything. It is the epitome of inertia. An object at motion will stay in motion. An object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. So, with the fact that we are going to New Hampshire, that means we're going to be driving on mountain roads. Those should be fun, right? Well, not so much in a minivan. So some might think because it's a minivan that it would be comfortable, wafty, just all around good to drive just for getting around A to B. But I have to admit it is not. Um, this thing was built for cruise control at 70 on the highway with minimal turns. It does not waft. It just kind of wallows and you just kind of go bleh, 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 bleh. It is not comfortable. No matter how many times people make it seem, it is not comfortable. I, however, beg to differ because I took a nap and it was quite lovely. The seats recline in the passenger side. You can put your head on this little armrest. It's very nice if you're not driving. So this gearbox is terrible because every time I push the pedal, nothing happens, nothing happens, and then push it far enough and it shifts gears, lift off, immediately shifts back. It does not stay on the power at all. It does not know what it's doing. Like, there's a hill coming up, doing 55, and then I wanna stay doing 55. Losing speed, losing speed, losing speed. Oh, there it goes. Oh, we're at 55 again. No, don't shift back down. No, 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 we're losing speed again. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, go, 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 come on, come on. And there it goes again. It is. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't know what it's doing, it can't make up its mind. It's just idiotic. One of the real downsides though about minivans is the lack of visibility. Because I have the A pillar right here that can like hide a whole car when you're just sitting at an intersection. Like I have to like move forward, backward to try to look around it. I'm like, how do you how do you see out of this thing? You look back and it's just tiny windows back there that you can't really see out of when you're trying to change lanes. I mean, like, it's great that it's all boxy, but you, you can't see out of it. But with every car, there has to be something good, right? I mean, the electric sliding doors, so when you get into a tight spot, you know, they just slide right open. You can walk on out. The seats with the aisle in the middle for you to walk back to the third row, that is genius. And there's so much space back there too. One other good thing about it is, while it drives like a truck and you really can't feel where you're going, it actually has a pretty good turning radius. You can turn in at parking lots and turn around and stuff pretty easily. I was actually pretty impressed when we had to turn around on uh, Route 302 in New Hampshire and we turned into this little like scenic area that just had a, a little spot. We were able to completely turn around right in there. Not a problem, it was great. Like, a much better turning radius than I was expecting. For 2010, there's a lot of electronics on this, like the tailgate's electronic, which is really nice because you can just press the button and walk away and it'll close, except for the one time you forget and you go to slam it and it just kind of slams back in your face. It's really awkward. I mean, it's, it's great if you've got four kids and you need to get to soccer practice, but if you're someone who 
thoroughly enjoys the driving experience, this definitely is not the car for you, especially if you live near mountain roads. I would go for something a little less like a brick. <laughs>